Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, May 31st, last day of May. I'm Photo Joseph and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. So today, oh actually before you started, if you are watching this live, do me a favor, hit that little share button down below on, on the Facebook thing. Let's get this thing shared out there, get some more people watching it, that'd be super cool and fun. I'd appreciate that. And of course, as we're going, if you have any questions or want to throw anything at me, just hit it in the comments. I am watching it on the screen in front of me. So let's see here. Uh, today, hope you had a great long weekend for those of you in the U.S. who had a long weekend. For those who aren't in the U.S., if you're wondering why I wasn't here yesterday, it's because we had a long weekend in the U.S. Um, all right, so today's photo moment is actually going to be about a picture, a comparison picture that I posted last week on Facebook and Instagram, and it developed quite a bit of conversation, so I thought it might be something worth bringing up and talking about today. And this is a comparison photo that I posted between an electric electronic shutter and mechanical shutter. So first up, let me just pull up the image here so you can see what we're talking about. Um, so this is the this is the image that was posted. You can see the the difference, um, dramatic difference between the two photos. And this is of course a propeller on a plane that I was on on Monday. And on the top, we see a mechanical shutter. On the bottom, we see the electronic shutter. And now the top image, the mechanical shutter, shot at thirty two hundredth of a second. Uh, and you can see that the propeller blades are nearly frozen, not completely, completely frozen. There's a little bit of motion blur in there, but they of course look like propellers. Whereas the electronic shutter image shot at one twelve thousandth of a second is something else entirely. <laughs> You're wondering what in the heck is happening there. So let, let me actually back up. Let's take a look at a couple of the others that I shot. Cause I just kind of shot off a bunch of them wanting to, uh, to compare. I wanted to get a really cool looking one. So that was, that's one of them. Uh, as you can see these here, the, here the blades are not even totally connected. It's just completely bizarre. Here warping around there, it's just this bizarre, bizarre, and that's the one that I used. A really bizarre thing that happens when you're shooting electronic shutter on fast moving objects. And of course there's a couple of mechanical shutter ones freezing those blades or nearly freezing them. Okay, so what happens? Why does this happen? And that's of course what I wanted to talk about. So first of all, let's talk about a mechanical shutter and what is happening with a mechanical shutter. And then we'll get into electronic shutter because that helps to understand the difference. In a mechanical shutter, in a standard DSLR, basically what happens, the mirror flips up out of the way, the shutter opens, shutter closes, and the mirror comes back down. On a mirrorless camera, there's no mirror to flip, in, out, uh, flip back and forth out of the way, but what happens is the shutter is actually open all the time because you're, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see anything through the lens. So the shutter is open already. So when you take the picture, the shutter closes, opens to expose it, closes again to finish the exposure, and then opens again to, uh, to so you can see what's coming up next. So even though on an electronic, uh, sorry, on a uh, mirrorless camera, the shutter is opening and closing twice per picture, it is still faster than that mirror flipping up out of the way, um, the shutter opening, closing, and then the mirror flipping back down again, which is why you can generally get higher. But, I shouldn't say universally because I don't know all the specs and all the cameras, but um, generally you'll find that you can get a higher frame rate on mirrorless cameras. Anyway, irrelevant to this. So in this situation, what's happening is the shutter is opening, exposing all at once, and the shutter is closing. So that allows us to freeze motion like we saw in the, the uh, propellers that were frozen. With an electronic shutter, the shutter never opens and closes. Essentially, the, sh the, uh, the sensor turns on and it turns off. So it turns on for a very brief amount of time and then turns off and it records that during that time. And this is basically like video. Video is, is turning the, the recording on and off. So that's all that's happening for a very short amount of time. In this case, it was one twelve thousandth of a second. I don't remember, there's a shot on the GX8. I don't remember how high that camera goes. Um, it's high. You can get some crazy, crazy fast shutter speeds this way. But you, if you have very fast moving objects, you end up with that weirdly distorted image that we see here. So the reason that you get this distortion is because the entire sensor is not being recorded at once. It's not being recorded at the same time. It is actually scanned one line at a time. So obviously over a very, very fast period of time, but essentially it is scanning, writing pixels to the screen over and over again in a very fast fashion all the way down to the bottom. So if you're photographing something that's not moving a lot, uh, you're not going to see, or not moving at all, then you're not going to see any problem distortion at all whatsoever. But if you have something that is moving quickly, especially moving horizontally quickly, you're going to get some strange distortions. And the easiest way that you can reproduce this is if you grab your, your iPhone or your Android, whatever, your smartphone, which all have electronic shutters, and you're in a car 
don't do this while driving, and you're in a car and you take a picture out the side of the car as you're driving past trees or uh, light posts or any vertical subject. Uh, closer to the car is going to be better because the relative speed to the camera will be faster, will be greater. You'll see that object lean. And so what happens is if you're, the photograph's looking this way, the picture's going to lean because as the scan was going, right, your object is moving, let's say, right, you're, you're driving by, so obviously the object's not moving, you're moving, but as far as the camera's concerned, the object is moving and it's recording a line, 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 like this, and so you end up with this leaning subject. So in the case of the propeller, because there's just insane motion, this thing's spinning around like this, there's multiple blades, it, you get this really distorted, bizarre effect as it draws through the lines. Uh, and that's it. That is the difference between mechanical shutter and electronic shutter and why you see this distortion. So the advantage of electronic shutter is that you can shoot much faster. As you saw here on this one, one twelve thousandths of a second. That's kind of fast. Uh, mechanical shutters go up to typically either four thousandths or on higher end cameras in eight thousandths of a second. This will go, I should have brought the camera in here. Um, I want to say 20,000, maybe it's even higher than that. I wish I remember. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll try to remember to, I'll, maybe if someone actually posted in the comments, I will look it up there. Um, but that's basically the difference there. So that's all there is to it. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you about today. So let's see, is there, I'm not seeing any questions or comments in here. So let me just refresh the screen real quick and double check. Uh, nope, nobody in there. So, uh, Chris Briscoe, thanks for watching, buddy. Thanks for the like in there. Uh, somebody shared that. Maybe that was Chris as well. I appreciate that, my friend. Wait, aren't you writing cross country right now? Don't you have something better to do than watch me right now? Chris Briscoe, who all of you have seen on, the, no, here, not in this show, but in a, a conversation show, is uh, currently riding cross country with his son uh, on bicycles, which is just awesome. Uh, really, really cool adventure. So be sure to check check that out. Look up ChristopherBriscoe.com. And I, I don't know if he's posting photos there. He's posting on Facebook. Anyway, that's the guy. Search him out. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for today. So as always, if you have any questions that you'd like me to address on this little photo moment, please, by all means, drop them into the comments. Also, just so you know, these will live on Facebook. Um, I've decided to just leave these on fa Facebook indefinitely. This is where the conversation's happening. You can also find them over at my website, photoapps.expert. They are going onto there. They're now going onto there. So they like as soon as this is done, it'll get pushed there as well. So it's gonna be all over the place. We're actually looking into the feasibility of turning this into a podcast as well. Why not take this video and push it into a podcast stream? So if you can't catch it live, you'll be able to catch it later as a video podcast. Kind of fun. All right, I think that's it. Uh, if Again, if you're, uh, whenever you're watching this live or not, please share and like and all that good stuff. And of course, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, we are here live every working day. Um, and by the way, on that note, I am going to be doing some traveling coming up here. And uh, I have a, a couple of work trips and also friendly vacation. So I may adjust the timing to coordinate when it's uh, best to do for the trips. We'll see how that works out. But uh, of course, I will let you know if the time shifts in advance. Right. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.